welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm just going to be doing an updated collection um sort of like haul so to say um so i'm going to go through the dolls in my collection at the moment and talk a little bit about them and give you some information so let's get straight into the video so first baby we have up is posy um, she is Reborn Charlotte by Laura Lee Eagles and this is her COA. Uh, she is a first edition Little Miss Charlotte and she is um, 720 out of 1400. So that's her beautiful COA and here she is. Obviously we're not in the best lighting right now um, but I didn't want to do it in absolute daylight because I thought it might wash out a bit so you wouldn't be able to see her. So she is the smallest baby in my collection and I absolutely love her. She's got sort of like a really subtle baby fluff hair. Um, it's sort of like a gingery blonde. Oh that's not good. <laughs> Excuse the fly that's just flown in. That's just what's made me drop her head. And she is a super super floppy baby. Um, I like to put her in either first size or up to one month clothing uh, because she is so small. This is up to one month and it absolutely, I think this is newborn actually and this absolutely drowns her. Um, but she is a super pretty little doll. Show you her face. She looks shiny in sunlight but I think this is just the varnish that the artist used. Um, she is so cute. I've just looked at her on the camera. Um, so personally, for me, I call this doll Posy just because she's tiny. Um, and I thought that name really, really suited her. So this is little Miss Posy wearing her little velour sleeper with daisies on. I know it is June. <laughs> Um, but I literally just dress them in whatever I fancy unless we go out on an outing then I dress them in weather appropriate clothes. So this is Little Miss Posy. So next up is this handsome a little um, boy. If you follow me on Instagram you'll know this is baby George, that's what I call him anyways. And um, he is the newest baby in my collection and I'm just sifting through my COA is to find his. So let's see if I can find them. Uh, here we are. And he is the real born Michael Asleep by Bountiful Baby. So his sculpt is based upon a real 3D print of a baby, and I believe that's him there. That's the actual Michael. Um, he is <laughs> the cutest thing, honestly. I love this baby so much. He's the one I've got out the most currently just because um, I'm just really like happy and content with him. I've just been trying to get a good bond with this baby um, because my biggest fear is like losing my bond <laughs> with them. I know it sounds silly but it does happen um, and just because of how much I really like him I didn't want to lose the bond so that is him. Uh, he's got some beautiful details. He's got dark brown hair and his artist, I'm not actually sure who his artist is. I got him off um, a lady on Instagram and I'm just so smitten with him. I think he's absolutely perfect. Like I just can't tell you how perfect this baby is. Um, I'm really, really pleased with his painting and his hair and he's literally in pristine condition but I'll bring him a bit closer to the camera so you can see him <clears throat> so this is George he's got a bit of crazy hair from where I've just laid him down but he's got all this really cute baby hair on him I just love him I'm so obsessed with him and I did get them all dressed today, um, just for this video, uh, because I'll only really dress the doll that I have out at the time. 
so I did dress them all in something that I really wanted to dress them in so this is the outfit I chose for him today <laughs> and I'm super super happy with how it turned out I'm always a bit fussy with um, colours and things at the moment that's just me if you've watched my other videos you know I like to change my style out um, but yeah I just love him to death I think he's so sweet next up for you guys is this chunky girl so this is the peaches kit by Cassie Brace um, and this is her COA so she is the peaches by Cassie Brace sculpt and she is 91 out of 1800 and it was signed by the um, sculptor and she is a limited edition doll um, it gives you a bit of um, information on the back there I'd highly recommend um, Cassie Brace dolls I love them so much I think they're so well sculpted and they're so pretty and I absolutely adore um, how they turn out once they're made so she is a real chunky girl um, and she is wearing um, if you watched my previous video her little um, I'm really not sure what this animal is I keep wanting to say it's fox or like a little dog I don't really know what it is um, but this little Peter Pan collar top with her little um, blush pink leggings and a little hair bow to match and I'll just give you a close up of this girl Ooh, she's hard to show because she is a big girl um, but she's got nice um, light brown hair she's just really floppy and really chunky and I think her artist did such a good job of um, her painting I'm so so pleased with this baby I'm, I just love her to bits I think she's so sweet and so chunky um, but I didn't have a chunky a chunkier baby in my collection so the peaches kit for me was absolutely perfect and I'm super super happy with her so I can't wait to make some videos with her in them so that is my little peaches sculpt and um, for my um, entertainment purposes, I called her Penelope. Um, I don't know why the name just stuck with me when I looked at her. So she is my little Penelope. So next up is this little guy. This is the Kai sculpt by Gudrun Legler. And this is his COA. He's a first edition. He's 961 of 1,500. And this baby is so cute. I love him. He's so tiny. Um, I'm not actually sure what his length is, if I'm honest, but he is really, really cute. And I love this doll. So for entertainment purposes, again, I call him Crew. And he has painted hair, which is really nicely done. Um, and what's nice about this is I can put hats on him and not fear for the rubbing of <clears throat> his um, rooting and things like that so this is him a bit closer he's got some really fine details and I do absolutely adore this kit it's just his little face look at that little mouth um, but he is a beautifully painted baby and I just think he looks so cute and so realistic um, and I love his hair so I'm not fussy with painted or rooted babies. Um, I'll have either or depending on what I think looks good. Um, but I know some people can be a bit fussy about it and have a preference. It's nice to have a preference, but I just think I, I like them both. So he is wearing a little farm mamas and papas outfit with matching hat. I can show you what's on his hat. So he's got a little tractor um, and a little sheep. So it's a chicken coop it's just really cute so i like his little outfit so that is my kai who is called crew following kai i have the very famous laura kit um by bonnie brown i'm just getting her coa so i believe she's an open edition baby this is her coa yeah um which she 
is definitely as popular as her Levi kit. And she's another froggy legged baby, which is really nice. Um, but this is my Otty. I call it Ottilie or Otty. Um, and I love everything about this sculpt. It has got really, really popular, like I've said. Um, but that doesn't really make a difference to me because I just love how different each one is and I just wanted I just had to have one in my collection just to see what what she was like um I did take a lot of stuffing out of her because I really like them floppy so I did reweigh her um that's not her artist's fault it's just how I prefer my babies some people like them a bit more stiff but I like them super floppy as you can see and this is her again she's got crazy hair from where I've just sat her down um, but she does have light brown hair and rooted hair and lashes, sorry. Um, she is, the only thing I'm not a massive fan of, this is so, sounds bad doesn't it? And it's no, it's just preference again, is her hands. I'm just always scared that I'm going to break one of these little fingers when I'm dressing her and things like that. But I have tried it on a cuddle body and I loved it so when I feel like getting her out when it gets a bit more to winter I think I'm gonna pop her head on a cuddle body again um, but I think she's done really well and I'm super happy with this baby um, I don't think I'd change anything about her really but she is a beautiful kit so this is Otty so we are getting down to the last two babies and if you follow me on instagram or have watched my videos for a while now you would have seen this girl and this is she makes me laugh every time i see her it's a smile it's so sweet this is the maddie kit um by bonnie brown and again she's an open edition baby and this baby let me tell you guys if you're a fan of um, open eyed kits and you want a bigger one and you're not quite sure if you want a toddler sized one, I'd highly recommend Maddie. She is the cutest little thing. Um, she's really fun for role play videos, for pictures, even just having cuddle at home. Honestly, she is such a sweet kit. Um, mine does have painted hair again and oh she's just so cuddly uh i find her a little difficult to dress just because of her arms her arms are straight which doesn't really um take away from her or anything like that it just makes it a little bit hard to put some outfits on her so i did struggle when i first um had her because this was a doll that was gifted to me from one of my friends um who had recently had a baby and she got rid of her Maddie, and her name is Thea, by the way. So this is my little Thea. And um, she had got rid of her because she's having a baby and she asked me if I would like to um, look after her. And obviously I said yes, because I did have a Maddie in my collection before, um, but at the time I just didn't really appreciate the kit until I was gifted Thea. <laughs> and I can honestly say probably one of my favourite dolls. I'm not going to lie, out of every doll that I've had or will have, the Maddie Kit is definitely one of my all time favourites. She's just so sweet and so fun. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend this doll if you're looking for a big baby. So that is Little Miss Thea. So last but certainly um, not least, this is Lola, who is the Katie Marie sculpt by Anne Timmerman. Um, she did not come with a COA. She is the original sculpt. Just some um, sculptors like Anne, Tim Anne Timmerman um, don't release COAs for some of their babies. So this toddler did not have a COA, which is totally fine. She's an authentic sculpt and her artist um, purchased the kit from a reliable source. So I'm super happy with that. She is my dream toddler. So I got a dress today in these little tights, these little boots and this dress and I'm obsessed with how sweet she looks. She is my little redhead 
and she has brown eyes and really cute little, if you can see, I'll bring her a bit closer. She's got little teeth, uh, two bottom teeth that you can just about see. She is such a cute doll. Um, I was searching for a toddler for such a long time and I couldn't find one I liked. Like I liked Liam, but I didn't like the facial expression. And if he isn't painted right for me, he's a no. Um, I had a look at quite a few toddlers, but I kept seeing her, her sculpt on um, Google when I was looking at different toddlers. And just her little face, I was like, yeah, this is the one I want. So I contacted the artist and asked if she could make me one which she did uh, and I'm so so happy with it it's actually really nice to have a toddler because it's so fun buying uh, like baby clothes and I'm obsessed with it I'm not gonna lie um, but my problem is I like them to look realistic in what they wear and for me I don't like putting like newborn sized babies in proper outfits I know it sounds ridiculous but it's just preference um, I can get a bit fussy with it but having uh, Lola and Thea has been really refreshing because I can buy the cute little outfits and the shoes and all that good stuff because I really don't like putting shoes on newborn sized babies either. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just really fun. You can get loads of props um, for photos and videos and it's just nice. It's just really nice to have a bigger baby. Um, I wasn't sure if I'd I would like her when she first came. I thought, geez, she's she's actually huge. And I was saying to my friend, Shell, who is also on YouTube and Instagram, um, she's massive. And Shell was laughing. She was like, I told you she'd be huge. <laughs> I told you she'd be huge because she had a Liam and she was telling me how big he is and how big his clothes were. Um, but the only way you can really know if you're gonna like it is just to get one and see what happens. So I'm really glad I did because I actually really like her. Um, I'm just super happy with her, if I'm honest. Super, super happy. So this is Miss Lola. So thank you for watching this video. It was just a, a little bit of an introduction to who is in the collection um, still and who's new to the collection. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, please tell me who your favorite um, reborn is and he would like to see more of and I will happily make some videos with that doll. Thank you for watching. Bye, Bye guys.